Last this year, we introduced you to the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, and now Samsung came out with the Galaxy Note 9. And the biggest difference between these two phones is the newly designed S Pen with a remote button on it, so you can perform functions remotely, and what people find most useful with this function is taking a selfie, so I will demonstrate that for you. And then, boom, done. So the S Pen has these new functions. Something else that's different with the Note 9 is that it has a bigger capacity. So it starts out at 128 megabytes and you can expand to 512. Lastly is the camera. It's all about the camera, right, with these phones these days. There are two new features with the camera to make it more intelligent. One is called a scene optimizer. So this phone can recognize different sceneries and then optimize the colors accordingly. And your pictures will look flawless. And the second feature is called flaw detection. I know that sounds scary, but it really means the flaws it detects in you taking the photos. So it could be, let's say, blinking your eyes in a photo. So when that happens, the camera will tell you some looks like someone blinked their eyes in that last photo, retake that photo. Some other flaws it can detect would be a lens smudge, backlight, and also image blur. So I checked this out to test it. If I'm taking a photo and you know, people move around, I'm not a static person. And if I, if I have a little bit of movement, it'll say uh, that last photo may have been blurry. That's a good reminder. And that, my friends, is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9.